week in 2013 when the Brew 2 cicadas began their every 17 year symphony after having spent their long nymph lives below ground feeding on roots, the longest nymph lives, incidentally, of any insect we humans know of. Certainly, the longest of any insect I know of, I fell down a short flight of stairs in my house. We use a phrase like fall down the stairs to describe a wide array of staircase misfortunes, some of which do not seem to warrant that particular use of language. Ludwig Wittgenstein would probably say, we shouldn't overanalyze it, that we know what is meant when we say I fell down the stairs. It is a language game we all know how to play. Mostly, what we're saying is I transitioned from being heroically upright to tragically downright and or prone. Also, I did it on a staircase. But the thing about that phrase, the thing that makes its use inadequate for this particular stair falling incident is that the phrase tends to conjure up in the mind's eye something like a tumble or a roll. It produces in the mind's ear the rumble of a bumbling body bumping, a drawn out descent of syncopated, oddly accented beats, alarming, but also not entirely unpleasing to the senses. And depending on your familiarity with the person falling and your level of comfort with seeing physical harm done to her, him or her, a staircase mishap might even inspire a certain level of merriment. A foot stomping, hands over belly, hand thrown back, mouth open, exhale of hilarity, a physical manifestation akin to what you might experience at the rip-roaring sweat and romp of a hot juke joint where beats are the currency of felicity and sex and heat and nobody cares if you're bad and by God, 